Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, I want to do a little uh, extrapolation and speculation on what we're going to be getting in the new Maggotkin Battle Tome. So, here's what we know so far. We're getting the release of the Battle Tome in December, and along with it, we're getting a new Rotbringer Sorcerer model. And... That model has different weaponry from what the current model has. He's carrying a scythe. Um, so I think we can expect at least his uh, combat profile is going to be changing. And it's looking likely that we're not going to get any other new units along with this. Nothing was sort of hidden in the background in any pictures or anything like that. Um they said in the article that there's going to be thematic new abilities and there's going to be a battle trait called diseased that um is going to be causing additional damage over future turns to units that are damaged by diseased weapons um which weapons exactly are going to be diseased uh we don't know yet but uh presumably that's going to be sort of like a keyword on our uh, units somewhere. Um, and then we're going to have Loci of Fecundity, which they said are, is going to be relating to powerful demons, but other than that, there is no information on that so far. Um, and I just checked the web store, and there's currently no changes to model availability. Even the current Rotbringer Sorcerer model is still available. So if anything is going to be cut, and presumably the old Rotbringer Sorcerer is going to be getting cut, uh, they haven't made those changes in the web store yet, so nothing is sold out, nothing is last chance to buy or anything like that. Um, but usually they would be doing that a little bit closer to when the book would be released. So some assumptions that we can make based on the most recent books that we've gotten. Um... In general, all of those rules that were like a range within have been changed to wholly within. So things like the Harbinger of Decay and the Glotkin are likely to get some significant changes in their how their command abilities work. Um, and with the changes overall to command abilities, um, those two things are likely to not be command abilities on their War Scroll anymore anyway. Uh, Rerolls are pretty much eliminated from most places, so Lord of Plagues, Lord of Afflictions, the Wither Stave, uh, and Epidemus, that's the other one that I did not list here, all of those are probably going to be getting some War Scroll changes that are fairly significant to get rid of that. Um, abilities that trigger on a 6+, plus have generally been eliminated from the game, um, the one that's still sticking around is Blades of Putrefaction, so I really have a feeling that that spell is going to be getting a major change. Uh, especially since with uh, All Out Attack, it is extremely powerful. Um, as I mentioned, consolidation of command abilities into the Allegiance abilities like we saw with Stormcast and the Orc War Clans book. So, uh, really having no command abilities on War Scrolls and having them really just sit in your Allegiance abilities, which I think is not too big of a deal because a lot of the command abilities that Nurgle had were pretty straightforward ones. And I think there were a lot that were not very good. So I think this is not really necessarily a negative change. This is going to be interesting and spread out whatever command abilities we get throughout the army. And of course, consolidation of artifacts, command traits, and spells. Um, you know, this book had a ton of artifacts and command traits and spells. I have a feeling we're going to end up with a lot less but I think that's okay because there was a lot of junk in there as well. Um, 
And I think overall some command abilities that we currently have are just going to become other war scroll abilities that are just sort of always on. Um, and I suspect the Harbinger of Decay is going to be one of those. Some speculation. Um, I think there's going to be a bunch of heroes that get major war scroll rewrites along with this new battle tome. Lord of Blights um, his command ability really has been stripped of like all of its power and um, his other ability of granting shooting attacks to your uh, putrid blight kings is that's never been that strong so he certainly is up for a pretty major war stroll change the Lord of Plagues, his command ability has always been kind of terrible and is likely going away completely. So uh, his other ability is granting rerolls of ones to hit, which is also likely going away, which leaves him with pretty much no abilities. So he's a blank slate for them to go have some fun with. Lord of Afflictions, he has a command ability that I think could probably become like a once per turn ability or a once per game ability. And that would also not really change his usefulness overall and just not consume command points. And his aura of reroll ones to hit is probably just going to go away. Harbinger of Decay, I suspect, is going to turn into an aura that's always on. Uh, Epidemus, like all of his abilities were rerolls for the most part. So I have a feeling we're going to get um, probably a more powerful Epidemus. I think we're going to see the same sort of pattern continue to exist with his abilities where, you know, as things die, his abilities go up um, and that'll affect the whole table or a big aura around him. But I think in general, we're going to see some changes to um, what those abilities actually do, and they're probably going to be more powerful than they were before, because Epidemus, as currently written, is Garbo. Uh, the Magath Lords, I think they are really up for um, some potential rewrites. Orgots has a good command ability, um, but command ability is likely going away. Morbidex, he needs to do something better with Nurglings than what he currently does. I think the one that's probably most likely to stay similar to what he currently is is Bloab. His spell is really thematic with this whole idea of attrition and spreading disease that seems to be the theme that they're really harping on with this new book. Um, the recently changed War Scrolls, so Sloppity Biopiper, Spoilpox Scrivener, and Beast of Nurgle. I don't expect those to get changes. If they do get changes, I would expect them to be pretty minor. Um, those are also, I think, templates for what we're going to be seeing in other heroes, potentially. Um, maybe the Lord of Blights and Lord of Plagues being sort of the mortal versions of uh, those two heroes. Contagion and Summoning, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a major change to that. Um, I can't predict necessarily what that major change is going to be, but I feel like it's pretty safe to say that the way we're going to earn Contagion points is going to change, and certainly our Summoning table is going to change quite a bit, because current Summoning for Nurgle is really not that good. Summoning overall has become a less powerful thing in the game, but I think Nurgle is still subpar with how their summoning works. I think the cycle of corruption is just going to be going away. Um, you know, even if it's stuck around, it would have to change um, the pre-existing cycle of corruption is really hard to work with if you didn't get that wheel out of blight war and there's only so many of those to go around um if they kept that mechanic they would probably have to reprint a new one i don't really see them doing that it was always sort of kind of a weird mechanic and it's really hard to use if you don't have that tool and I feel like they don't want to necessarily have a tool like that become sort of like mandatory to play an army. 
Um, and I think the hosts that we have, I think we're basically going to keep the same hosts, maybe add a couple of additional ones, but I think we're going to get some major rewrites as to how they actually operate. And based on other uh, changes that we've seen so far in third edition battle tomes, they're not going to have locked in artifacts and command traits. They'll be more narrow and have stripped down abilities compared to, uh, how heavy-handed hosts were in the past, sort of just giving you uh, one extra ability. Um, hopefully one of those is retaining the, uh, you know, ones to hit doing uh, mortal wounds back to your opponent like we have in Munificent Wanderers right now. That would be extremely powerful. It's really thematic. Um, I like it a lot, and I hope we get to keep that. Um, ignoring Rend seems like a thing that would probably still stick around. And for like the Blessed Sons and Drowned Men ability to uh, have your units kind of blow up and do mortal wounds when they die, that also seems like one that's likely to stick around. So uh, we do have some other options of things we can do. There's plenty of places to explore in the Garden of Nurgle, but that's about it that I have for right now. As always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, support us on Patreon, and join us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm out. See you guys later.